Hello, friends. The mysterious gaping hole in the middle of the desert has terrified the local residents for centuries. Until recently, no one has managed to get to the very bottom of it, at least not alive. The Well of Barhut is the name of this hole in Yemen. The word Barhut comes from the ancient, long-dead Himyaritic language and it means genies. It could also be translated as spirits because a genie is a mythical spirit, either good or evil. The well is millions of years old, so legends about it could well date long before the rise of Islam, and that was in the 7th century. In the sacred history of Muslims, it is said that the Prophet Muhammad called the well of Barhut the worst source of water on earth, and that was precisely because genies lived in it, along with the souls of unbelievers. And the cousin of the Prophet, Ali, predicted that someday all the souls would come out of there and it would be the last day of humanity. Later, there have been many incidents that only added to the unfortunate reputation of this hole. Some ruler decided to hide his treasures in the will of Barhut, which made sense. Being among sinners and various evil spirits would best suit them. Then, someone got sucked into this hole. And then, some unlucky traveler decided to have a drink out of this well, which turned out to be fatal. Moreover, the smell coming from this hole was just awful. Thus, especially superstitious people were afraid to even say the word Barhut out loud, and some people still are. One of the residents of Sana, the capital of Yenin, spoke to life about this well. He said that even in the 21st century, quite a few of his compatriots are still convinced that an entrance to hell is located in the east of the country, in the Al Mahra Desert, not far from the border with Oman. Well, the deathly part of the well's reputation is rather plausible, actually. Not to mean the hole would really suck someone in, but the well, with a depth of 112 meters and a width of the circular entrance of 30 meters, sure can be dangerous. Speleologists have already tried to go down there, but no one has been able to reach the bottom until recently. The first ones to succeed were the researchers from the Oman Cave Exploration Team, a team of explorers of the caves of Oman. There were 10 of them. Eight people descended using a cable system, and the remaining two controlled the process from the top. It was a rather exciting journey into the unknown. It turned out that there was groundwater at about half the depth of the well, at a level of 65 meters underground. Streams were seeping through the walls and flowing down in waterfalls. It felt like pouring rain at the bottom. So, instead of a hellish hell, it's the cold humidity that rains down there. As for the terrible smell, it was due to the decaying corpses of animals, as birds and other living creatures fell in there from time to time. Apparently, it isn't easy to get out from such a depth, even if you have wings. And here are the treasures of the Sultan. Such rounded stones are called cave pearls. They aren't exactly precious, but they do look very nice. They form as a result of water dripping on the same places for centuries. And there are snakes slithering in the midst of it all. Sure, it sounds ominous, but it's nothing special for that area. Thus, knowledge has once again shed light into the darkness of obscuritism. Only one question remains to be clarified. Perhaps it is the most important one in this story. Thanks to science, we now know that it isn't a gate to hell, nor is it a home to genies or a prison for the souls of sinners. But what is it from the point of view of geology? How exactly did this perfectly vertical well form? There are several theories. According to one of them, for example, it is the mouth of an underground volcano. Another theory claims that it's something like the famous Yamal craters. But the geologist and speleologist, doctor of physical and mathematical sciences Alexei Shelpin, explained that everything is much simpler in fact, and that really, it is a well. The scientists said that there are similar wells all over the world. One of the striking examples is the Hokrak Monastery Cave in the Crimea. The name is translated as Monastic Stream or Monastic Spring. This well has the same karst origin and almost the same depth as that of Barhut, 110 meters. 
the speleologists emphasized that those weren't the deepest wells. Such caves could be up to 400 meters deep. Friends, that's all for today. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.